Hey guys, welcome back to my neck of the woods. My name's Dika, where I share my experience and my knowledge, hoping to lessen your learning curve. So today I have a blind, a hunting ground blind chair made by a company called Huntright. Um, I have used this chair for, this is coming up on my second season, I, it, it's a stool, as you can see. It's a swiveling stool and it's silent, it doesn't make any noise, that's what I like about it. Um, I have used the other um, one by Huntright, which is a high back chair. Um, it has some different features, I'm going to show you those. I'm going to tell you why I like this one better. Uh, this is more comfortable for me. I'm 6'2", I'm 230 pounds, I'm not the smallest guy in the world. And sitting on a stool is more comfortable. I understand that some people need something in the back, if they have back problems or whatnot. But sitting on a stool inside of a blind is more comfortable for my purposes. And this stool has a little bit wider base than the, than the Huntright chair, and it, um, it, it just has a solid, more firm footing on the earth, uh, even if it's uh, not so level. And I'm going to show you why. So uh, it comes, it's easy to fold up here. It has these sort of two hooks right here. And try to get this on camera here. What you do is you just kind of bang it in like that, and the hook piece comes apart, and it folds down, and then it folds up. And there is a, um, a strap piece here that you just wrap around this bar, and it's, um, it stays together. It has a, this, this is a new one out of the box, this has a sling, so you can carry it in if you're just going to do some ground hunting. It weighs 11 pounds, and it stands about 19 and a half inches off the ground. Uh, the Huntwright chair is a little bit um, taller. I think it's around 20 to 21 inches. So as far as putting it together, it, it's relatively easy. You just take it like this, and then you take the top piece over like so, and it just, as you can see, it just locks right in there like so. Obviously you make sure it's snug before you sit down has a two inch mesh seat up top here and it swivels and it's nice and silent, that's what I like. It has a, a sturdy steel base, um, like I said it's 11 pounds, but I like it better than some of the other ones is because of these feet. The feet are, have this sort of ball joint on it here that you can, when you put it on what is unlevel in your in your ground blind, it kind of finds the level spot. It kind of finds the sort of sweet spot as to where it needs to be. And I mean, it, it will hold you sort of snug and you're not going to fall over. So um, on the Hunt chair, the high back chair, which are made by Hunt, which is more expensive than this, by the way. I buy them off the Sportsman's Guide. This one's $53.99, and I believe that the high back chair is upwards of $70. I think it's like $68 or $69. So they'll have the two of these on the back and then just the regular rubber stoppers on the front of the chair. So this, is, this has no real front or back. You can obviously put it down. Um, obviously you want to make sure that's snug. And then you just have a seat. And it's, it's really sturdy. It's really sturdy. It's not like some of those sort of uh, three-prong the sling chairs or even some of the ones that have like the cup holder in it uh, you're not restricted and it's, it's that's great for the blind and that's great for hunting on the ground if you're hunting on the ground this is an easy bring in I mean it, it, 11 pounds is kind of heavy but it's an easy bring in it's an easy setup um, I have one that I use for that and I put a little foam on it just just when I open it up, it doesn't make any noise. Uh, this, it really doesn't make a lot of noise, but I'm just particular about that, so I put some foam on it, so when I sort of accordion it open, it doesn't make any noise. But it swivels, goes all the way around here, and it's very easy for your bow. Um, I'm not a gun hunter, but I'm sure your gun in a blind, you can just grab it, and whatever window the deer or the game animal is coming from, you're not going to have a problem with movement as long as this is placed in the appropriate spot. I like to place it sort of at the back of the blind uh, in a corner so I can sort of hide in the back corner of the blind and then that gives me shots into three windows without any issues. Obviously you can see that on the lefty with, with a bow. And it's overall it, it's a great product. It's a great product and it's 
it's just more comfortable for my purposes and hopefully um, some other folks can check it out and uh, see what I'm talking about. But it, it's, it's superior as far as comfort, stability, and that sort of um, self-leveling ability than the Huntride high back chair, which is more expensive. So maybe you can save yourself a couple bucks getting something like this as opposed to something that maybe you would think is more comfortable. All right, that's all I got for you. Sub the channel, and I will talk to you guys later. Be well.